<laughs> I'm gonna have a look at the T. The wrong thing. Hawks. Ooh, actually, let me get. While we wait for this, let me check Windows real fast. So Omni is gonna move on to face the winner of Nord Atlantic Blitz versus Nessie. Those are two. Ex well, Nessie is more experienced, I would say, but both are experienced competitive teams. So those two are either one of these two are gonna face. The war gaming teams are gonna face very soon. Huh? Some interesting games coming up also again. Looks like Hawks Higero. is a uh, Danish team. Yeah, it's basically. Oh, cool. Or Danish exactly team, really. the same it looks like. Oh, wow. Yeah. A mean, lot of people with necessary. DK in the back of them. So they can neither speak Swedish nor English. <laughs> Dansk jävla. Dansk jävla. <laughs> <laughs> and um, GSW is... But shouldn't you feel uh, like uh, connected? Like, shouldn't you feel some sort of national pride that a team from your country is playing? Oh my god. The beef was a meme at this point, until uh, now, but now. Uh, cross, cross the line, David. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. All right. Right, since we're waiting again, uh, chat or my mods could probably ruffle, it, uh, ruffle away your code right now, since we're probably going to have to wait a while for the, all these guys to join in. So this would probably be a good time for it. Hey, I recognize Kuttu. That's a hawk's name I recognize. So we're not... I'm trying to figure out... So we are at now 16. Gotcha. Which are you means... trying to decipher the schedule? Yeah, since you That's know we did one match easy. and then it fell apart, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I like that. It's pretty good. Yes. Yeah, I do not know from which country Global Sea Wolves are. Maybe chat will enlighten us. Hopefully. Are you expecting enlightenment from a Twitch chat though? Uh, you never know. They have their times. That's true. It's kind of like, like you. Well. It's the old saying, you give like a bunch of monkeys typewriters. Wow. <laughs> that is true. Even though. Eventually, even then, they will get it right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like my chat being absolutely mad about Ruffles spam. And my mod's trying to inform them that the raffle isn't open, but no one reads the mod of the message, so everyone just spends raffle. <laughs> uh, going back to the whole monkey thing then again, I guess. Yeah, exactly. See, that's what I mean. <laughs> you might get Shakespeare's latest works, but you're more likely to have them shit on the paper and throw the typewriter at you. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, looks like we're almost ready to go. Missing one bit. We see a Kagera. That is a Kagero on, on GSW. Yeah. Can't really stand up to the old torch spamming Kabuki in the TMA. I wish you would be allowed to use Shiratsu in this one. In the end, you would use like lower tier ships, and oh, Shiratsuyu is a super, super popular pick. Yeah. I wonder so, why. <laughs> yeah. With the smoke meta, hmm, strange. But one also has to uh, question certain design decisions when the tier 7 gunboat line ship has better torps than the tier 8 torpedo boat. Mm. <laughs> like, um, um. Yep. Questionable, questionable. Alright, we're missing one dude. Yep. I ain't going nowhere. Are you stressing? Yeah. Nah, I'm not stressing. Full chill. Hey, he has arrived. So Benson, Kagero, double Benson and the Kagero. Triple DDs. Triple DDs, triple battleship. Oh boy. 
Hawks is only going for the double Benson. Oh, is this, I guess this ICT dude is their last dude. E A C Bull. Is that a... Name of that guy? E S C. Okay. Mm. On D W S. Yeah, he's um he's part of their roster. Roger. So I guess. Right. I... Since this game looks to be about to uh, get started, time to shut down the raffles again. Since uh, don't want them going on during the game, so shut down the raffles for now. Auction off or auction. Raffle away the last codes, I guess. And... Mm. This should start now, right? <laughs> I mean, we are waiting for something. I'm not entirely yeah. certain what. Uh, maybe time. You know, it's 30 seconds until it's 1500 or 1700. Ah, yeah, it might be. It might be extremely <clears throat> anal about that. <laughs> Do you know that there's actually a team in this tournament that's anal in the name? Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Wow. A anal commandos. <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? Yes. Check the team <laughs> list. Oh no. <laughs> of course there is. Right. Triple North Carolinas for Hawks. Wow. They really On hate Trident. Players. I mean, Chapai mm. Kutusub Kutusub, North Carolina. North. I literally would hate to be AC Buna right now. <laughs> like, you cannot send a plane anywhere without it dying. Nope. But again, like. Wouldn't it be better to maybe have at least one Bismarck? That's a, it, it allows you for such aggression with the Hydro. Yeah, I guess I guess they're hoping that the one Chapayev is enough to compensate for not having any German battleship. Yeah. Or any Turtleback battleship, really, because Amagi counts as a fairly <laughs> decent bowler as well. Yep. Apparently, one of my moderators won the raffle for a thing. People are not happy. Wow. Rigged. Oh, Kutusas, yes, you know me. It's such a familiar name, but I can't think of where I have where I know him from. Is he one of my... he might be one of my viewers. I tried asking GSW where they are from. Mm -hmm. No answer. I feel cold and abandoned. Right, starting off, uh, GSW are moving for every single capture. They're sending. They're using the three DD tactic to send one DD into every single capture point, and their carrier is even running air superiority. So they huh. don't like planes. Period. Neither of these teams like planes, like at all. <laughs> yep. They hate planes. Probably still running. Remember the old good old days of close beta when carriers were king. Like literally. Midway double torpedo bomber against no enemy carrier at all. Ooh. Balance. Kutu is doing some uh, some aggressive solo things here. He needs to smoke oh. up. Oh. Oh. Well, that's very very aggressive. Doing alone in a kutsu. Yep. He looks to be slowing down now. But oh, if well. he gets one good... He's giving full broadside. Is one. there an AP volley? Is there an AP volley from a battleship here? I think the Bismarck is on reload. I can't believe no one punished him for this. I feel like that's something you should have punished. Yeah. The Here's the AP. Is... Oh, Ooh. right up the butt crack. And the Bismarck. Oh, Bismarck. No Citadels now. And the enemy, the Kutus Still as well. Running. He's shooting down Kutus some planes, but I mean, he lost... And... 35k HP. I don't know if that was really worth it. No. Oh, and Torps coming in. Oh, wow. From the Kagero. These are early Torps. It Almost caught the uh, the Benson of uh, Nikki out there. Almost. Yeah, it looks like, obviously... Um, what was the team? Hawks. Looks mm. like going for C and then moving on to B pressure. But I actually like GSW's positioning right now, going hard for the AB cap. 
The, Kut the Shukaku positioning is questionable, but I assume he's still moving. The Shukaku is parked behind the island right now, but he's actually moving full speed, so he's maybe just taking a safe route. Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Some big hits coming in on Mike there in the Kudos of DSW behind the island, south of B. Big hits. Oh, Benson is spotted and eating a lot of damage. Marcus Ooh, is such a There you go. AP penetrations from battleships. Oh, God. Wow. He was a bit too eager to go for that cap, I feel. Yeah. I mean, couldn't they have dealt with the fighters first or like pushed the North Carolina a bit closer? Oh, yeah. and Torp's coming in at the NC. He's gonna eat two on the nose, I think. Oh, is he gonna torpedo a bit? He's gonna eat one. Oh! No way! Oh, he lost the paint on that side, but he actually dodged all the torps. What a hero. Very nice. Uh, well done, indeed. In a situation like this, when you lose a destroyer early on, normally for a two destroyer team, that would hurt a lot. But since, since GSW has three, it hurts, but it could be worse. Yeah, right? it hurts, but it's not as big of an impact. The fact that it's a Benson hurts more, though, since yeah, uh, Benson's smoke. US DD smokes are significantly better than IGN smokes, and of course, smoking up your teammates is a staple tactic. But they do have the double Kutusov to fall back on, so they're not really going to be running short on smokes anytime soon. TBK caught out in his Kutusov oh, on A. might get deleted. He reversed behind the corner, full broadside. Oh, he got so lucky there! I think he just got dispersion saved, or it's possible call DK shot a bit too bit too high, but Mike six nine nine really played with fire. The chopper is spotted. The carrier, I don't like this fact. Uh, you can see the, the fact that these carriers are, well, at least the GSW carrier is fairly inexperienced. He's trying very, very hard to force something with his planes. Mm. And when you're against triple North Carolina, Chapa and double Kutuzov, you're not really going to get anything done in the early game. And honestly, he should just focus on scouting and keep the planes in reserve and save them for later on when the enemy team is a bit more fractioned and there's less anti-air to deal with. Because yeah. then he can have a big impact. But in this early game, I feel like he's just throwing away planes and not really achieving much. There's a bit of a battleship brawl by C, Cult DK in the North Carolina versus Spartanus. Yeah. The Bismarck. Cult is nicely angled though, and Spartan is giving much too much broadside to him. I feel Think. like Cult. Oh wow, he gets a big hit, but here's the return ball. There's yeah, a Benson right here, and I'm wondering where the smoke is. Going for the Torps. Might have already use the smoke. Spartan eats a 15k volley. Which wasn't very good. That's of course the power of the North Carolina penetration. Seeing speed boost on one of the Bensons here. Painless is caught very much in the open. Yeah, there is. North Carolina might delete him now. Benson pops up though. Oh, massive AP boy! Jesus. And Torp is gonna hit. No, it's gonna kill the Kutuzov. Why isn't he moving? Move Kutuzov. All the slow acceleration. Wow. The Benson uh, gets picked off by the Kutuzov of yeah, Shada. And TBK is dying. He does get torps off on the North Carolina. Carolina is gonna eat one of these bends and torps. Yeah, Kutuzov floods to death. It looks like North Carolina is at least. No, he did have repair, yeah? So he's yep. fine. I mean, looking at Hawks, I'm looking at the HP bars here on my mod, and yep. oh my lord, they are all so very low, but they haven't lost anyone. They haven't lost a single ship. Is it gonna be the North Carolina ram here? Very Ooh. awkward brawl here. Oh, but there's torpedo bombers. Oh, that's a good drop. That's actually a good drop. One no. of the torps didn't arm in time. Yeah, dropped too close. Then again, he was pretty forced. Yeah. I think he got flooding though. He got a flooding with that one torpedo. Wow, that's actually insanely lucky. Because if General Mortis keeps reversing, uh, Painless is gonna die to the flooding before he yeah. can finish the ramp. Well, he's gonna die to the crossfire of the. Uh, other uh, North Carolina or the uh, Kudosov. I think you might have gotten Ram off because you better consider that Flood oh, yeah. reduces your max speed a lot. For sure. So, For sure. So he might have actually gotten it off, so that carrier drop was very important. Yeah, the RNG though, one torpedo Flood. Yeah, what I don't like about this is GSW, they have so many smoke, smoking ships 
but they still have all their battleships in the open all the time, mm. and I feel they're not managing their smoke. Uh, they're not cycling their smokes properly. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of overlapping smokes and smokes being used selfishly instead of for the team and such things, and mm -hmm. it leaves their, their battleships in the open. Yeah, but I, I mean, that's almost to be expected by a, a newer team. Yeah, Considering yeah, that we yeah. haven't seen either of them yet, it's... That's yeah, like... Yeah. If you look back on the first team battle season, or even the first like competitive scrimmaging that you guys did back then, yeah, and compared to the level of play that you have in Omni nowadays, yeah, it's I mean, of, insane. Of course, it's it's greatly advanced compared yeah. to that. Though, but uh, I mean, it's worth pointing out because oh, yeah. uh, people in chat might be wondering why is this team losing so hard? Like, yeah, for sure. Uh, what's going wrong for them? And right now, the biggest issue really is that they have a, many smoke ships, but they're not really utilizing them. Mm. In fact, they have lost. Wow. Okay. Well, that was just a collapse. Yeah. Throughout this entire match, though, uh, Hawks have been holding. They took uh, early caps, and now they've been holding. Well, now they're actually pushing out. But the uh, GSW team has been pretty much responsible for our all aggression. They've been pushing up the battleships. That what looks like a more experienced team versus mm -hmm. a newer team, and that is they basically they took a strong position and they held it, and they waited for the enemy's mistake, and. That's a surprisingly strong tactic when if you are fairly confident that you are the better team, because they capitalized on it heavily. The Benz, both Benzes made mistakes, being caught in the open, eating huge AP pens, and then being deleted. And uh, slowly but surely, they they basically benefited heavily. Maria Wagner is pretty damn dead. Yeah. It's up, up to P75 to win the game for his team. <laughs> P75 is going to have his hands full, I think. Yeah. If he does do it, I would be very impressed then. The speed boosting Benson paying off here. The dodges. His engine is broken though, so his speed is greatly reduced. Dodging like a pro. It's gonna survive before the game ends. Nope, oh, that ends the game. There it goes. Well, Trident is uh, a pretty hard map because uh, positioning is so incredibly important because oh, yeah. it's such a small map. So, even though this was a fairly convincing win from Hawks, we have, I don't think we have seen the last of JSW because I felt like their plans were good. Like, take A solidly, slowly push around the flank, take B, and so forth. Yeah. But the biggest, biggest issue really was their DB is getting killed so early. Yeah, losing that Benson on B that early, that's that's when your whole thing, because uh, it looked like it was supposed to pair up with a Kudos of a North Carolina holding B from that angle. And when yeah, you lose the Benson, you can't perma smoke. And if you can't perma smoke, you're going to be sitting in the open. And uh, Hawks had that presence on C that could continuously poke um, well at that position that they had. Southwest to be. Indeed, indeed. Like, the plans were good. I feel um, you kind of see the difference between a random battle or, or players who are very used to random battles mm. uh, versus competitive plays. And you saw them a lot. Uh, you even saw it from the Hawk side, the Kutuzov that pushed very hard at the start and then ended up losing almost all his HP. And uh, the biggest difference between competitive and random is really that in competitive, you are not facing against people who have maybe questionably bad aim. But you, whenever anyone is shown, everyone on the enemy team focuses fire, and they all are fairly good shots. And that's a very hard thing to adapt to, especially for cruiser and DD players, because they are used to being able to do these things in DDs. Like, it's not a big deal if I get briefly spotted here. Mm -hmm. But in competitive, every single battleship will instantly nail you. And yeah. those AP volleys, well, you saw what happened to these DDs. They instantly lost 10k HP, like poof, and yeah. they got burned to death right after. And that's the kind of thing that doesn't happen in random battle, and it really takes playing a lot of competitive to get used to it and realizing that the survivability you have in randoms is nowhere near the survivability you have in competitive. You simply have to be significantly more careful with your own HP pool. Yeah. No one, no, no battleship is going to be busy farming damage off, like trading with a battleship. Like, exactly as you say, like, priorities change when you play competitive, and... Salvos like that, like just splurging AP on DDs with your battleship, that's what you do to win. And it worked and out it, this time. 